Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. Welcome back to SummerSlam. I uh, pick up where we last left off, which was uh, finishing off this chapel in MaxSec. It's day 70, I have 43 grand in the bank. Uh, Lionel Hutz is um, helping us execute people quicker if we can ever get somebody in here to execute. In three hours time, we have another intake um, of nobody because we've changed the intake around to only be for death row. And it's what, like five in the morning? Nobody's up yet. We could probably speed up time and get some of these jobs done because we want to get this chapel up and running, hopefully, um, in time for these guys to be able to enjoy um, spiritual guns today. Wouldn't that be something? Can you imagine that today was the day where these guys were able to enjoy spiritual guidance? Because personally, I cannot imagine that. I, that just seems so far beyond anything that we're capable of doing inside this wretched um, ass of a place. But at the same time, it's pretty good. Okay, anyway, we're going to get an altar in here. Uh, we're going to get a couple of pews. Maybe not as many as... Oh no, you know what? We've got just enough pews. Perfect, and of course, we're gonna get a couple of prayer mats here, and then we'll get a couple more in here as well, uh, and then we should be good. Let's go to deployment. Let's make this for maxsec only. Crucially, the guys in Supermax do not have access to any of these chapels, uh, which is quite right because uh, they don't have access to anything except for beds and toilets. It turns out. All right, this intake of nothing is gonna happen in like half an hour time. Oh, man, hopefully, hopefully we have somebody from death row uh, that wants to turn up. We do have space. We have space. Um, every, well, no, not in maximum security, actually. We're over by one. Can we get any more max sex cells in? Or can we drop anyone down? We could maybe drop somebody down. Uh, we've taken intake out. Okay, we need to drop, like, two people down. Because uh, I think we need to have a spare maximum security cell just in case this is apparently something else when dealing with death row all right so who is eligible to be uh busted down to normal sec let's see we're gonna go into intelligence just gonna pause it quick and see is anyone in here um not have like a trait this guy timothy man well, he's in for murder <laughs> okay fine richard noel attempted murders pretty bad uh murder trafficking Chris KJJ. Okay, he's in for. Um, I mean, he is in for GBH. Um, insider trading, not too bad, and trafficking. All right, fine. You know what? You can go down to normal security now. You've done your time here. Felix Chafer, murder. Cadwell, violent disorder and aggravated assault. Okay. Uh, we have another GBH and John Smith, or is it Smith? I'm not quite sure we don't want any volatile guys going okay look violent disorder and aggravated burglary that's not too bad all right fine he can go to normal as well leaving us with um space yes one space all right we have one spot free in maximum security now uh we have a whole bunch of spots left in protective custody we have spots in supermax we have spots in death row, and we have spots in minimum security as well. Okay, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting a death row guy. Sometimes they just pop up randomly. Oh, look at all these parole hearings happening. It's nice. First thing in the morning, of course, so that is going to happen. Okay, programs, spiritual guidance. Everybody is really, really loving these new... Look at these. They're fully, fully booked out. Everybody's loving them. All right, let's go to the schedule and make sure that that is a spiritual guidance in min, medium, and max. It is perfect. Excellent. Great. Look at that. I hope they don't kill the guy in here who's doing the thing. That would be pretty terrible, actually. All right, um, let's have a quick look around and see if we can find any snitches or any new people that might need to be um, sent down to... Oh, look, at we got a whole bunch of new potential CIs down here in Paul Hale. Uh, we'll definitely scoop him up and... Oh, hang on a second. He's gone. He does not want to be one anymore. He's... Okay, what about this one? Paul Wolven, who's got 23% coverage. Uh, that's pretty good. And then Adam Blake here has 66%. Crazy. Okay, anyone else uh, in here need... Oh, we got a snitch. Okay. All right, it's Jack Alpha Burger Soppy. All right, I'll tell you what. Alpha Burger... 
Is this him? This is definitely him. He is definitely a snitch, isn't he? He's pointing right at him. Okay. He needs to be put into protective straight away. We don't want him to get killed. Uh, we're trying to minimize the amount of murders that happen inside um, SummerSlam. Unless they're happening inside the battle arena, in which case it's fine. Okay. Does anyone else in here need to be moved? No. Max set guys normally aren't snitches or ex-law enforcement. They're just like a bunch of murderers instead. It's even worse. Jesus. All right, we're going to put this guy back. Hopefully um, his percentages like creep up a bit. I mean, if he got like 100%, that'd be crazy. But look at this guy. Scott Bird is injured now too. And hey, look at that. He's like completely starving. <laughs> He's missing his family. Why did I put him in here again? Did he try to escape or something? Or did he come in as, as Max? Or, or did he kill someone? I can't even remember. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so terrible with, what I, with the punishments I hand down. Half the time I don't even know why I'm punishing them. And then after the fact I don't remember uh, what punishment they even got. Or why they're there. So there we go. Now he's living a life of hell. Soresby's just in there beating the crap out of him all day every day. Um, I wonder if anybody is ever going to step up to Swordsby and beat the crap out of him. Oh, look, as these guys start to like starve and get injured and stuff, they're going to fight even more. Look, there's already lots of blood inside of Yard Dormitory, the battle arena. It was jab with its own resident Jab of the Hut, <laughs> Swordsby. Swordsby is the Jab of the Hut above ground, and then when you drop down to the bottom and there's a big, <laughs> there's a big monster. It's also Soresby. He's like, he, he feels like a double role. It's amazing. He's just he's just like a jack of all trades in that place. It's crazy. All right. Does anyone else need to be punished? I mean, is anybody sort of like doing anything kind of shitty right now, or like dealing drugs in like the cleaning cupboard or anything like that? Rushikov. Oh, look at this manslaughter. Two counts of manslaughter. And what's this guy doing? He's taking a porno back to his... I see. This guy was just caught with a weapon. Who's this? Adam Beckwith. Aggravated burglary and aggravated vehicle theft. Alright, fine. Man, I'm just waiting for somebody to look at me the wrong way or, you know, knock over one of my toilets or, or something like that. Uh, there's going to be hell to pay. And that payment is going to be... <laughs> Made in here. Oh shit. Look at what a bunch of pussies. Now look the doctors had to get involved. Oh little puss puss couldn't handle a couple of rounds inside the battle arena with Soresby, huh? Well who's this guy? Richard Bailey. You know what you don't what I don't have in this prison either? Sometimes you get like these real big guys. Like I Soresby's a big guy, don't get me wrong. But some of these guys that you get are gargantuan like they're much bigger than Soresby and if they barely fit through the doors and stuff we don't have any of those guys we don't have any legendary prisoners because I've turned off intake hoping to get a death row guy and we also don't have any really really massive guys either which is a little bit of a shame it would have been nice to get some really massive guys but there you go is there anything else that we could be building in the meantime it's day 70 we have 193 guys here um intake is off so it's not really worth building any more cells i mean we could build a couple more cells we want to get the capacity up to like what 500 i mean there's a lot of space up here for like another block of medium sec i don't know if the canteen will accommodate all of them but actually there's a fucking ton of tables and stuff in here should we do it Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> we'll get a whole bunch of more normal set guys in here uh, as soon as we can. Um, we'll have like a door that leads into probably here. It'll be like a like a double hallway thing. And then we can just have like a bunch of cells, I guess, off of here. So we want like a cell here, I guess. So it's one, two, three, four, and then up. Oh, we might even be able to like jam some dudes in here at the other side as well. I wonder if that'll fit. Okay, so, and then here we want a uh, cell as well. So one, two, three, four. So that'll be that, like that. And that should be good. And then all the way up. We can get a whole bunch of dudes in here for sure. Okay, let's do it. We're going to get some more guys in here. We're going to pack them in. We're going to pack it up, pack it in. And we're going to let um, me begin. I came to win. And uh, something else that rhymes with win. Um... House of Pain. Remember that one? It's really good. Back in the day, House of Pain. I, I remember it. 
very fondly, actually. I enjoyed the shit out of that song. Actually, the whole album was like, pretty good at the time. I don't know if it stands the test of time, though. That's the only thing. Oh, look at this! It fits perfect! We don't have to move this hot water boiler. It's really good. Oh, shit, that reminds me. Oh, no, we might have to. Look, it does fit perfectly, but... Because, look, it has one, two, three, four... And then have to have a wall there. Okay, you know what? We're going to go for the one. One, two, three, four. It's not going to look, like, totally symmetrical, but it's going to save us a lot of, like, farting around, right? And that's worth it every time, in my opinion. Okay, so we'll have a hallway here. Um, so this can be a cell, but this is going to be a one hallway, and that'll be a cell. And then we'll have, like, another whole bunch of dudes packed into here. I mean, we can totally afford to do this. This is not a problem. Uh, we're going to raise the capacity up as, as high as we can and try to get cell block E while we patiently wait for a death row prisoner to turn up. I feel like after like playing this game for like almost 30 hours and working on this prison and stuff that I would love to execute somebody as the finale. And I'm doing my best to not edit files uh, and get in there and, and do it the right way. You know what I mean? Like, just wait. Hopefully something will give. The game will decide that we're going to get a death row dude. Get him in there. And then we're going to fry his ass on the chair. <laughs> whether he gets clemency or not. Because once we get a guy in, I think straight away we just have to do him in. Because otherwise, um, who knows? You know, something else could screw up. And... You know, we might not be able to do it. How many prisoners are we actually going to fit into here? Quite a few, I think. This is fucking enormous. All right, so this is a hallway. We'll get some CCTV cameras in here and stuff, too. And then our normal sec prisoner capacity is going to be just really, really big. I don't even know if all of them will be able to get in here for lunch and stuff. Um, certainly, these spiritual guidance sessions are going to be like well and truly overbooked but oh man this is gonna be fucking great let's do it okay we'll go for this um actually we'll go for it like this way totally afford this it's only cost us like 10 grand to build all of that if you can believe that. that's nuts isn't it all right let's get a um large jail door which we have three perfect oh my god how the shit Oh no, Mike Gonzalez! He was 30 years, only 30 years old! He's a snitch and he's dead! And Andrew Stubbs, who's 50 years old, has attacked a prisoner and suffered a serious injury and maybe is fucking up the... Yes, he has fucked up the maximum security. Jesus Christ, we're gonna have to bust some more guys down. I can't believe this. Because we need to have, like, at least one spare spot. Dylan Chaplin is 23 years old, armed robbery. That doesn't sound too serious to me. And what about this guy? Simon Gaskin. Assaulting an officer, assault, assault, manslaughter, attempted murder. Um, Tom Lindsay. Possession, five years. All right, there we go. An ideal candidate. Are we good? 48, 49, we're good. All right. Bring on the death row inmate. That's what I say. All right. While these guys are working on this, we should be getting a door there, and then we should be able to um, get a whole bunch of dudes into this um, medium security part of the of the prison. There's nobody manning the CCD TV cameras right now, so we don't know if anybody is battling inside Soresby's Boom Boom Saloon, but it doesn't look like they are. It looks like they're just milling around. There have been two victims. Um, oh, what's this? oh, I see. Um, pfft, I don't know what happened here. Somebody has died today, though, and it was a snitch. Some of these guys, like, are just... Oh, look, we got another one here. Oh, no, that's the dead one. What the fuck? Okay, we have to be, like, more on top of this. It's kind of hard, though, because some of these guys, we don't know what their reputation is. And it's only... Uh, it, it's only until it's too late that we discover that they are actually snitches. And I think the snitch trait is something that they can pick up like while they're in here as well so you know they could come in with nothing but then they could become known as snitches because i guess it works sort of like on the suspicion sort of thing as well right like walter's owen uh if his suspicion thing gets too high then he'll be labeled a snitch and then we'd have to put him into protective custody but these guys that are dying are they cis i'm, I'm not even sure I, like i completely forget who is cis in the first place um, and then I never go back and check again, which is, of course, not, not the best way of doing it. But 
Uh, and, and as a result, you know, people are dying as well, which is the worst. Oh, shit. What's this daily cash flow is, like, plummeted? I guess it's because we had um, a death. Was it? No. Days of that incident. Oh, it's only been... Yeah, okay, it is. Shop revenue, 500 bucks. Holy me. We're making 500 bucks a day from the shops? That's crazy. Holy crap. Well, we need to really jam in some more guys so that we can make some more revenue from that. We can be, we can be like shop tycoons, prison shop tycoon. It'd be like a like a subset game of prison architect. You you just like get to run the actual shop. You have to order in all the stock and you have to like buy low, sell high to the prisoners and they get really shirty and they try to jug you and stuff. My god, that would be great. If you um if you worked on this game or were one of the guys who created it, you can have that one for free. Holy crap, can you imagine? Just like a like a sub mini game within the game where you can like manage the shop as a prisoner. I would be all over that. I would play the shit out of that actually. That'd be really fun. I would not want to get jugged though. Maybe they need to introduce a jugging mechanic into the game as well so that like, you know, cuz most people just fight and kill each other, but actually having to deal with like an outbreak of jugging <laughs> Your infirmary is just packed full of people with, like, um, you know, hideous burn scars and marks from um, just a lot of jugging that happened. Oh, that would be pretty terrible, actually. Um, how are we doing here? This is shared, this is shared, and this is, what, shared as well? Okay, so everything leading up to the execution chamber is shared. So we're good on that front. All right. I'm just making sure all the boxes are still ticked. For the uh, for the whole death row thing, right? Because we want to make sure it's almost 10 p.m. So everybody's going to be getting some shut eye. That's nice. We can finish off this night maintenance uh, in up in here. There's like, oh, finally it's complete, perfect. And well, now we can just spend a whole bunch of money on new cells as well. God, this is my favorite. It's like the best thing to do. All right, let's um, keep that locked open. That'll be good. Uh, we are going to need some metal detectors. We're going to need two, and luckily we have two um, just sitting in storage right now. Uh, we also need to fuck. I hate when they does, when it does that. It's because there used to be wall there, so it just leaves like this like crampy texture on the ground. I don't really know why. Um, and we want to make sure that deployment for here is set to medium security. That's perfect. And we need to make sure that we have some power. That's not the right menu for power. <laughs> That's not either. What the hell am I thinking? Okay, power. So this grid is... Oh my god, it still has lots of capacity. So we can run um, some power up into here, which we will do. Um, because these guys are going to need some lights. Most of them are just night lights because these guys are all sissies and they still need night lights when they go to bed. Some of them will refuse to sleep unless they have the radio on and a night light. Who just got tased? Oh shit, it's all happening. Oh my god, look at this! Holy crap! It was it you? <laughs> it was! Misconduct, destruction, attacked a prisoner, and serious injury as well. Nice. Alright, Sorsby is coming, slowly coming online. He might realize his final form, which is uh, just a dude bathed in other people's blood uh, with devil horns and also looks like Jabba the Hutt. Anyway, Sorsby is probably going to spend some time in solitary uh, for that. But, those people are finally getting their just rewards, right? The reason we put them in there was because they're assholes and now they're getting treated like assholes by Sorsby. It looks like somebody else is in the Supermax Solitary right now, so Sorsby's gonna have to wait his turn hilariously, but there you go. Um, fine. While all this is going on, we have five hours left until the next intake. We'll just keep like speeding up the game a little bit uh, to help get some of this stuff in. Uh, we want to do quick build and, oh, actually before we do quick build, we definitely want to get some pipes, some water up in here too. We're probably going to have to run this large pipe like up the middle, I think. We'll run it right up the middle and then we'll make sure that the small pipes get to all the toilets uh, like this. We'll have them, actually that doesn't need to go that far. Oh god, it's that little thing, I can't believe it. Okay, so toilets uh, generally are like here and here and then just in case it's like too far we'll run like this it's better to get all this stuff down now right than when there's dudes just sitting in their cells uh waiting around with nothing to do waiting for like construction workers to turn up and then having their wicked way with them like we would never want to schedule some work for instance inside here unless it's just to do some cleaning or whatever 
I mean, maybe we can give these guys a cleaning cupboard and put them to work. I don't think they can, though, on permanent lockdown, even if it's in, <laughs> even if it's in their dormitory. Holy shit. Where's all of our money gone? Why are we at minus 546 bucks? Like, what have we been spending? I guess because we're not having intake and stuff, it's starting to, like, affect us. Because we're probably releasing prisoners, uh, but we're never gaining them back. All um, for the sake of getting somebody onto death row. For Christ's sake. Jeez. It'll be interesting to see if, like, um, when this ticks down, if we get somebody new. Because as far as I can tell... Every box is currently ticked. So let's all cross our fingers together. Let's all attend one of the spiritual guidance sessions this morning um, and pray um, to the gods of luck and fortune. I don't know what their names are or even if that's a thing. But uh, let's hope that when it ticks over, we do get a death row guy to come in. And then hopefully we can test all this stuff to see if it... Okay. <laughs> well, anyway... Just uh, forget everything I just said. Jeez. Okay, so we're only open to death row. Look at how much money we're going to get for accepting a death row guy in. Um, and still, nothing. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. All right. Well, we'll just continue waiting patiently. Uh, in the meantime, everybody is going on with their day. Looks like somebody's taking a shit on the parole floor and a piss as well. I guess Tom Wood, who's 44 years old, woke up, uh, didn't realize that there was a toilet in his cell, went ahead to his parole meeting and just lost control of his um, gutty works. And there you go. Just did like a big pee and a poo on the floor of the parole room. And he's probably now getting out of the jail, if you can believe that. He's, he's probably been released. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Great. I mean, <laughs> there goes another one. Probably a very, very similar story. Holy shit. Look at all the people that are getting released this morning. It's nuts. We've just lost like four guys. Well, lost. We've processed four guys. That's a better way of looking at it. All right. Quick build then. We are ready. I'm just going to turn intake back on again like pretty soon, I think. Um, we want the... Uh, no, we don't have windows. Okay. I'll tell you what, we're going to do a quick build here, and then we're going to add a window. Because uh, we want these guys to have windows. I don't know. Don't ask me why we want them to have windows. We just do. I think it'll be nice for them to have windows. They should have lights in their cells. They do. Okay, perfect. We should be ready to go. Is that still? Yes. Okay, perfect. Everything is as it should be. Wow, look at Summer. Look at how big SummerSlam is now. And look at, like, on full speed. They all scurry around like ants in an anthill. Look at them all go... It's like top speed. Look at all of this laundry, for instance. Nobody's actually doing any. No, I'm lying. Look, Tom Evans and this guy, Mark Donnelly, are both like beavering away here. They're doing some ironing. Everybody else is filling the machines. I, I think everything works really well in SummerSlam now, somehow. I, don't ask me how it's come to this point, but it is sort of working now. It's kind of crazy. All right, we'll just wait for this bed to turn up, and then we can do uh, the quick build and copy it. Uh, in the meantime, we can quick build on this side as well. Start spending some of this money that we're making. We can copy that side, and we could probably copy this side as well. We'll get these like templates ready for um, when it's time to go. And then we'll get this side covered too with the window. These guys are going to be lucky. They're going to have a nice view out onto the smoking alley. Is this just like a... Yeah, okay, there's nothing else coming out. <laughs> it feels kind of cheaty, doesn't it, playing on full speed? Like, everything just happens so quickly. Still no death row. I can't believe it. We're going to, like, set a world record here for um, time spent waiting for a death row prisoner to turn up. And, and then just one does not turn up. It's crazy. All right. Let's get these cells online, um, and then we'll probably turn on... Should we just do, like, one big fuck-off intake? Like, the biggest intake you've ever seen in your life? Maybe you can't just have death row intake um, turned on and nothing else. Maybe that's, like, part of the problem. Let's, um, let's just keep intake on for, um, whatchamacallit, medium sec, shall we? Um, but we won't accept any min or max, okay? Let's do that. Okay, we're ready. Uh, we're gonna fill to capacity. Uh, slider? There we go. Perfect. We have 10 dudes turning up medium security uh, in 14 hours time. And we just found like a million vials of poison. 
possibly all on the same dude. Well, these guys are still enjoying themselves, albeit it's pouring fucking rain out here. Look at, we need to get some money back. We have 180 prisoners. We've released a whole bunch of dudes on parole. Um, and as such, our daily cash flow is taken like a whopping hit. It's crazy. Um, we have two new prisoners due for release. We have 16 prisoners up for parole, which will get processed um, during the parole board review things that happen every single day. 17 staff members are exhausted. What a bunch of complainers. Uh, there's nine people in solitary, five in lockdown, one needs medical attention, and there's also a dead body still on the premises somewhere. It's here. <laughs> Who's this now? Wait a second. Oh <laughs> no! When did this happen? <laughs> Gabriel Akinova, the 57 year old man who looks a lot like, uh, what's his face? Can't even remember his name now. <laughs> oh shit! He's dead! <laughs> oh no! Rip in peace, Gabriella. Like, you should not have tried to escape or done whatever you did that wound you up in there. Wow, holy shit. So, you know what that means? That means that this guy, Christopher Petit, needs to be in permanent lockdown as well. And possibly also, Gareth Robinson. No, he does not. Okay. Um, you know what that means, right? That means that this asshole here, Soresby, <laughs> that, no, he's only three murders. So, he was not responsible for killing him. Where is this? Do we need to be aware of anything here, doggy? No? Have a little sniff. No? Just just have a little sniff and see if you can smell any wood or anything. <laughs> no? Alright, good. Um, fuck, I can't believe it. Anyway, the battle arena claims its first victim. Whether it was Soresby or whether it was Starvation, I have no idea. Does one of these guys have a murder rap on him now? Criminal damage. Criminal damage. Um, and perjury. Was it Trish? Murder. <laughs> it might have been. When did this happen? He's been here for 49 years now. It could have been Matt Trish that murdered him and not Soresby. Anyway, it turns out that Soresby now has an accomplice inside the combat. Fuck! Did he get them? How many dudes just tried to escape? Holy shit! <laughs> what the hell? Tim Lawrence? No, it's just Tim Lawrence. And Tom White. And who's this behind him? Christopher Bloomfield. Three fucking dudes just tried to get out. And they made it past the perimeter wall as well. Holy crap. Thank God the snipers were there. Alright, we have to get these guys. We're going to process these guys. They're just... <laughs> they're just idling out here for some reason. Don't ask me why. Oh my lord. That is insane. Where the hell did this come from? Alright, we're going to have to search this cell block definitely in and around here somewhere fuck me just when you think you're all over it you know every single time this seems to happen somebody else has tried to bust out but there was no escape to be had today three guys working together like let's see if we can find the dummies dummies anywhere no they just all look like normal dudes they must have tunneled far like where the hell would they have tunneled from though I like how they just idle here and they don't run away. Like, <laughs> maybe we should have... Oh, no, okay. We've got one guard, two guards, and... Okay, three guards coming down to get them. Okay, that's fine. They've prioritized that over um, doing the, uh, the cell block search, which is good. And now everybody's turning up to do cell block search. Hopefully, we can find where this tunnel is. And... Oh, are those the dummies? Oh, no, they're not. It's just like some raggedy-ass clothes. What the fuck is going on let's see if we can sniff it out all right come here boy we're gonna have a sniff in some of these empty cells all right none of these are empty there's one empty here could be this one have a sniff any tunnels no no tunnels there there's oh there's three empty cells here this could be telling no where are you going here please come on have a little sniff no what are you doing sniff Sniff, boy, sniff! The fucking controls drive me nuts. He's probably tired and he needs to go back. Oh, will you fuck off? Have a quick sniff, please. Yes. Anything? No. Okay. Now in here. Little sniff? No. Okay. What the fuck? Where did this come from? Where does this tunnel come from? And where are these prisoners? They're still all out here. What are these fucking guards doing? That's not a guard! <laughs> Shit off! Alright, I tell you what. Supermax, permanent lockdown. 
And you too, asshole. Supermax, permanent lockdown. And Tom White, Supermax, permanent lockdown. That's right. We have three new additions to Supermax. We're going to find these tunnels as well, hopefully at some point. Um, and then hopefully Soresby is going to Jabba the Hutt these guys into submission as well. Uh, so that they never do that again. Oh, I mean, we know that the battle zone works now. We've had our first battle zone victim who, do who perished. He was 57 years old. He could have died of natural causes. You never know. But at the same time, I'm going to say no. It was probably Matt Trish. Because that guy is crazy. Fuck. Did these tunnels... They definitely came from somewhere in here. Because they, they were normal set guys. Right? Yeah, they totally were. So it has to be like... We've checked everywhere, and we still can't find it. Do we need to get the dogs out here to sniff this tunnel to find it or something? Let's try doing that. Dogs? The fucking dogs. Of course, where are they? Nowhere to be fucking found. Now they just have to do, like, this massive circuit all the way around to find out. All right, anyway. These guys will hopefully be apprehended pretty soon. They're just going to stand there and wait for a bunch of guards to have nothing better to do. Uh, we searched this whole cell block. We weren't able to find the tunnels, so we're going to try to sniff the tunnel this side. Uh, and we'll see um, next time uh, where they came from, if it even works. Um, and hopefully we'll get a death row guy come in with these 20 normal security that are coming in in four hours' time. All right. As usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.